Hello everybody. Let's talk about pointers in C. In this piece of code, I have a variable that is of type integer. Then I have a pointer variable which is pointing to an integer. And the purpose of this video is to demonstrate a few fundamentals of pointers. The key to understanding pointers is to have some memory image on your mind so that you can correlate things. To start with, when you declare a variable which is of type integer, then C provides some memory allocation for that. So here you can see I have the variable V and this is of uh, 4 bytes. I assume this is occupying 4 bytes. That's typically the case. So we have those 4 bytes starting at address 100. This is imaginary. And we'll see exactly what address uh, this variable is having when we run this program. So I assume this is starting at 100 and it goes up to 1 or 3, 4 bytes. And interestingly, this star p, which is called as a pointer variable pointing to integer, is also having its own memory. And that might be starting at some other location like let us say 200. So p is having its own memory allocation. So is the case with v. Now here is the second important statement. Of course, this is first one where we are creating a pointer variable and this is where we make the pointer pointing to a variable. In other words, we make pointer pointing to a location in memory. So here P is assigned the address of V. This is address operator and we copy now the address of V which is 100 into P. So P is now pointing to V. And then if you look at these statements, if you assume the same addresses, when it comes to the first print, we are printing the value of V which happens to be 10. That's what we want to print. Then we print the address of V. The address of V according to our imagination is 100. So we should see 100 there. And then we want to print the value of V. Remember, P points to the location with address 100. So P internally contains the value which is the address that is 100. And then finally, we are having something called star P. That's the most important thing. So what is this star P? Star P is called indirection. The star is in direction operator. So what I'm doing is, I first go to P, take the value that is present in P, then I go to the location. So here I take the value of P, which is 100. I go to location, which has the address 100. So it is going here. So this is where we are. And from that position, we are going to take 4 bytes and why 4 bytes? Well, it's because this P is pointing to integer and integer occupies 4 bytes. So starting from this location that is 100, it will take 4 bytes into account and whatever value we get from there, that's what it is going to display. That means this is going to display something like 10 because that's the value we have at that location. So we see three different uh, statements here. This is how we declare the pointer variable. Remember even this is significant. But one important point to be remembered, this does not determine the number of bytes a pointer occupies. Pointer always occupies four bytes. 
because to store address of a memory location we need four bytes and this is the next statement where we make the pointer pointing to a variable and this is where the address of the variable is copied to pointer and then this is where we make use of the address go to that location and take the value that is present at that location so you should see the value of v which is 10 the address of v and p and address of v should be the same because p contains address of v and star p will take me to that location with address 100 and it will pick up the value that is present in those four bytes so this should give you the same value as v so if you run this program you should see the values like this so here are the values as you can see the value of v is 10 and this is the address of v the same is the value you see in p because p points to v and then star p here as you can see is having the same value as v so those are some basics related to pointers so we understood pointer occupies four bytes we understood pointer contains the address of a memory location and we understood we have a new operator called indirection operator which is used to go to the location whose address is stored in pointer and take the value from that location and one very important point how many bytes does it take from there it depends on the data type to which pointer points that means if I have a pointer pointing to double something like uh, star DP here for example then whenever I go to this DP it is going to pick up the value from 8 bytes because double typically occupies 8 bytes so those are the details for now and in later videos we will see where we can use pointers there are two locations two cases I mean in which pointers are used one is dynamic memory allocation the other one is pass by reference we'll see that in some other videos thanks for watching bye bye